Here's example four with integration by parts. So uh, sometimes when you do problems with integration by parts, you might have to use it more than once. So this is going to be an example where we have to use it twice uh, to evaluate this integral. So uh, let's go ahead and get started then. Okay, so it's uh, the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. So remember, we have to choose u. And how do we choose u? We use the uh, liate or whatever rule. So remember, choose u would be the first type of function that appears on this list. So what do we have? Uh, x squared, that's an algebraic function. And then cosine of x is a trig function. So uh, algebraic appears higher than trig. So we choose u to be the algebraic function. Okay. So uh, u, okay, u, it looks like the blue is done. So let's choose, uh, let's use red. Uh, u equals, oh, that's not doing too good either. u equals x squared. So let u be the algebraic function. Uh, and then dv has to be everything else automatically. So since u is x squared, then dv is always forced to be everything else. Okay, okay so um, that's dv. So then dv is uh, cosine of x dx. Okay, now since u is x squared, then du is 2x dx. Okay, and then dv, uh, since that's cosine of x dx, we integrate that to get v. And if we integrate that, then we're going to get uh, sine of x. And remember, there's no arbitrary constant here on the v. Okay, so even though we integrate dv to get v, there's no arbitrary constant there, and that was explained in a, uh, a few videos ago. So anyway, <clears throat> um, let's go ahead and use this formula here. So now when we do that, what are we going to get? Uh, the integral of, uh, integral of u dv, so integral of x squared cosine x dx, equals uv, which is x squared sine of x, minus the integral of v du. So v is sine of x, so that's v, and then du is 2x dx. Okay? So let's go ahead and write this. Uh, this is x squared sine of x, and we'll write this like this, uh, minus the integral of uh, 2x times the sine of x dx. Okay. Now 2 is just um, an arbitrary constant, or not really arbitrary, but it's just a constant. Sorry, what I meant to say is 2 is a constant multiple, so we can pull it out of the integral. So, um, but we can also leave it in. Let's just go ahead and leave it in. Uh, no real reason to pull it out. It doesn't really matter. Um, let's just leave it in. So now, notice what do we have here? Uh, 2x sine x, so we have another product here. So we do have to do integration by parts again. Okay. Now, um, I want to point out a little kind of technical subtle detail here. So even though the integration by parts formula is expressed in terms of u and v, um, it doesn't matter what we call the variables. Okay? You could use u and v, you can use uh, z and w, you can use t and y, uh, anything else you want that hasn't already been taken. Now the problem is, since we did integra uh, integration by parts once in this problem, uh, we already used u and v. So technically speaking, we shouldn't use them again. Okay, we shouldn't use u and v here to evaluate this. Uh, now most people really won't care, but the thing is it's, uh, it's technically not right to do that. Uh, most people won't mind, but your instructor might, so be careful about that. But also, even besides that, it's just uh, it's mathematically impolite. It's bad etiquette, so we don't want to do that. Okay, we don't want to be uh, we don't want to have bad etiquette here. So instead of using u and v, let's use uh, z and w. Okay, so if we recast this formula in terms of z and w, then what we're going to have is uh, the integral of z <coughs> dw equals z w minus the integral of w dz. Okay. So another reason for doing this is it's sort of going to help uh, solidify the point that it doesn't matter what we call the variables. Okay. So here's u, u, and du. Here's z, z, and dz. Here's dv, v, and v. Here's dw, w, and w. Okay. So notice that similar pattern going on here. So just the integral of u dv is uv minus the integral of v du. The integral of z dw is zw minus the integral of w dz. Okay. So it's, just, um, it's good to see that with different variables, too, just to kind of solidify the point um, that we don't need to call them u and v all the time, and it sort of helps uh, with understanding of the formula also. So anyway, <clears throat> let's come off to the side and evaluate this integral separately. So now, um, if we evaluate that integral separately, uh, that's going to be the integral of 2x sine of x dx. Okay, so we want to evaluate this. So now let's do integration by parts again. Um, on this guy here. So we're going to use z's and w's now. So let's choose z 
Okay, so z takes the place of u, right? z takes the place of u. So let's choose our z. Now, even though we're not using u and v, we're still doing integration by parts, okay? Everything is exactly the same, just different variable names. Um, everything's exactly the same, so we still use this rule to choose z, okay? This time we're choosing z. So again, um, choose z to be the first thing that appears on this list. So what do we have? 2x is an algebraic function, sine of x is a trig function. Algebraic is higher than trig on this list, so we choose uh, z to be 2x. Okay. So here's our uh, z. Okay. So z is 2x, and since z is 2x, then dw, okay, this time it's dw, not dv, because uh, we already used u and v over here, remember. Uh, dw is forced to be everything else, including the dx. Okay. okay. So now, uh, let's write that down also. So z equals 2x, and dw equals uh, sine of x dx. Okay. So since z is 2x, then dz <coughs> is uh, 2 dx. And since dw is sine of x, then integrate that to get w, and that's negative cosine of x. And remember, it's still integration by parts, so no arbitrary constant plus c on this. Okay, don't do that. Um, we talked about that a few videos ago. Okay, so now let's go ahead and use this integration by parts formula uh, to evaluate this integral. So this is going to equal, so the integral of z dw is zw minus the integral of w dz. So zw is uh, 2x, okay, z is 2x, w is negative cosine of x, then we do minus the integral of w dz. w is negative cosine of x, and then uh, dz is 2 dx. Okay. So remember this 2 here, we just decided to stick in the integral here and evaluate it with that. But if you didn't want to do that, you could pull the 2 out over here and just uh, have it being multiplied by everything and then just evaluate this integral without the 2. Um, no, you know, it's, it doesn't really matter one way or the other. <clears throat> okay, so now let's go ahead and simplify this. So this is going to be uh, negative 2x cosine of x. And then uh, minus negative means plus. Let's also pull out the 2. So we have plus 2 times the integral of uh, cosine of x dx. Okay. All right, now uh, if we keep doing this, then that's going to be uh, negative 2x cosine of x plus 2. Now if we integrate cosine of x, what do we get? We get sine of x plus an arbitrary constant, right? Now again, technically it's 2 times this whole thing here, but if you take an arbitrary constant, multiply it by 2, what do you get? Another arbitrary constant. So we don't really have to bother with that, so we can just say 2 sine x plus an arbitrary constant. Okay, so that's uh, what this integral equals. So now this uh, here, let's come back over here. So now this guy equals uh, x squared sine of x minus, minus what? Well, this integral equals uh, negative 2x cosine of x. So negative 2x cosine of x uh, plus 2 sine of x plus c. Okay. Now be very, very, very careful because it's minus this entire integral, okay? And this entire integral equals this whole thing here, okay? Integral of 2x sine of x dx, okay, if we put brackets around that, um, it's this entire thing here, so we want to be very careful about that, right? So put brackets around this whole thing here, okay? So be very, very, very careful with that. Uh, and then let's distribute this minus sign. So this is x squared sine of x. So that's plus 2x cosine x. And then this is going to be minus 2 sine of x. Okay. And yeah, technically this should be a minus c, but remember, subtracting an arbitrary constant is the same thing as adding some other arbitrary constant. So we can just keep saying plus c. Okay. Because we're just messing around with an arbitrary constant over here, so it doesn't really matter. And we do like plus signs more than we like minus signs. So we could say that. It's not wrong to say minus c, it's just, uh, just weird. Okay, so we don't want to be weird. We don't want to be mathematically rude. So we want to have good etiquette. We want to be as normal as we can, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, that's uh, the answer to this question here. Uh, that's it for example four, really. Um, so evaluate the integral of x squared cosine of x dx, and that's going to be x squared sine of x plus 2x cosine of x minus 2 sine x plus c. And how can we check that? Uh, we could take a derivative of this and see that we actually do get x squared cosine of x in the end. Um, I don't know about you guys. I don't really want to take a derivative of that. That's product rule, product rule. Um, that's simple, that's derivative, that's just zero. So if you want to check that out, you can uh, totally go ahead. But anyway, that's it for example four with integration by parts. And again, this was an example of uh, using integration by parts twice to evaluate an integral.